Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm OP and in today's episode we'll be going over some of the best highlights from the matchup between JDG and KT during the quarterfinals of Worlds 2023. Without further ado, let's dive straight into the action. In. Not going to be ready for this. They're trying to set up the dive angle as well. 3-6-9. I don't know how close he is to 6. Dominus would be huge. Can yeah. going to get spotted soon because he's on the other end of the wall. He is on the grump right now. Looks like Kanabi's not really looking for it. 369 trying to bait him in and it's gonna work. The Dominus comes out. There's the crash down. And Koz is gonna turn. He flashes forward. Can Whoa. they get it? No, they can't. First blood picked up by JDG. Immediately answered though by KT. And now the jungle is a battling it out. But I think two tanks probably just gonna have to walk away. Although, yeah, I have a feeling I know who's uh, favored as far as the smite. But let's see whether the fight does actually happen. BDD over the wall. Backflip landing is now Keen will turn up. Knight in a bit of trouble as there's the old forward from BDD. He's into the shroud now. Can they actually get this one to work? Kanabi gets himself out. Perfect execution. Justin down. And the Dominus is still going to be there. Keen is very low. And Knight is there to support the crocodile. The flash. flash forward. 369's gigantic. And BDD just has to get over that wall. The big thing here as well missing joining the rest of the team. It's going to be a favorable kill. Check it up. Great read from KT on just saying, hey, Yes, you have some of these champions that might be more uh, you better utilized at these early Rift Herald fights, but you ex you burnt everything. Now Kanabi trying to match for Koz in this top side. Yeah, Kane going aggressive once again. There's the Dominus, and Kanabi's going to turn up. Let's see how this fight is going to work. Great ult comes through from Koz, and now Kane's trying to survive. It's not going to work. Whoa! It doesn't work. We've seen this before in the last gank play, and once again, the tanks just walk away. It's exactly the same play. And also with Keen flashing from Kanavi's crashdown. So, early JDG able to play around this Renekton. Might have a fight here towards the bottom half of the map. Aiming. Yeah, there's the knock up under Aiming. He's trying to get out. Does use everything, but does manage to escape. Lands there to help out his cuz. Getting down here as well. Moonlight Vigil, decent amount of damage, but he can't really get in there. Decent Arctic Assault, but now the knock up comes through. And this Sejuani's in a bit of trouble. Teleport to come forward, though. The Glacial Prison connects. And now it's speed and he's going on a ramp. Aiming grabs a kill onto Kanavi. Ruler's still up though, still doing a fair bit of damage. And Knight has made his way down as well. But that's a one fight for KT, unless Narcos gets out. He's fine. I mean, great turnaround from KT. The immediate teleport from BDD. Phenomenal answer. He picks up a kill for himself. And now Knight looking for more. Oh, BDD, there's the flash over from Lehens. BDD doing a lot of damage. Perfect execution comes through. Ruler is there. And Knight, he's got command protect. That will keep the Zero. These five people. I will say though, Knight might be in trouble here as BDD is there, but I want to highlight like I think KT have really prepped for JDG as Ooh, yeah, good. good escape. Wait, this is dash here, and that's gonna work out. Missing is here though, and we'll see whether BDD can get out of that. He ults forward, the dodges, gets out after the charm, and BDD's still alive. He's an actual ninja. It's happened. What a play from BDD styling on JDG in that bottom side of fight enough time now. Style was. The fog being toggled here. Are they going to try and make a play? Yeah, it goes cuz. 369's pretty tanky, but Permafrost has stacked up. They get the teleport out, and KT say, no, nope, not biting off more than that. And they will take the take the summoner spell. Still a big win, particularly because the one oh, on three This is a bit of a problem. Aiming's going to flash, but they have their eyes set on the hands, and Ruler will be able to take him down comfortably. It should be this turret falling as well. And Lenny, hey. this teleport's going to work out. Cuz moving his way forward as well. Keen. Counter Strike is being primed, and the Glacial Prison is going to land on a missing. But he's going to be able to battle dance his way away. He doesn't even have to here. The KT now bearing down on this outer turret mid. Oh, they're going to try and get something out of this play because. The teleport investment not really paying off just yet. They do manage to get the turret here, but JDG, they formed the Phalanx again. Nonetheless, maybe Kanavi can steal again. Yeah, I was going to say, maybe they don't need control. Maybe they just need the horse to just wander away in there. As KT, four members here already set up. You can see BDD lurking in the sidelines. 369 goes in, aiming, trying to escape from the crocodile. He'll get away with hands. He may not be so lucky. Knight in trouble as well, though, as he flashes away. BDD trying to get into the Moonlight Vigil, flies forward. And Amy's going to lock down the first kill. Rule is dead as well as BDD. Perfect execution. And KD will, KT will tear JDG apart. Is this really happening? And they yeah, might. It's only game one, but still, they're managing to win team fights. And KT are able to absorb the initial blow of JDG. 369 goes in on aiming, but it's the Lulu that I think is the big difference maker. That I really feel that JDG just trying to find someone that's caught out of position. 
Try and get that one pick to try and find an angle. KT have already started off the Baron, though. It's down to 50% yeah. health. Missing has no idea. Kanavi's going to move forward. The teleport's going to come in. Can Kuz manage to lock this down? He just walks in. Oh, but this time, Kuz gets the smite. The Magnus Storm comes through as well, but KT are just standing their ground. Kanavi ripped to shreds. BDD grabs one. And 369 JDG are just running for the hills. BDD's flashing forward. Knight, five point strike after five point strike, and the Shuriken is going to land. BDD grabs a double, and KT get the Baron and the kills. KT are standing here. I feel nothing. I, this is nothing happening as they push on forward. Yeah, they're they're for the end. Gonna die. Ruler, the last man standing there is five seconds left on Kanavi, but I don't know whether it's going to be enough. The teleports are coming in. KT going to take down the first inhibitor of the game. And they're looking for Nexus turrets now. Kanavi thrown around like a ragdoll. Good double knockup, but the follow-up's not there from missing, and Ruler is executed. That's going to be that KT off the back of an exemplary performance will take game number one over JDG. We're only just getting started now, though. These were some of the best highlights from the world's 2023 quarterfinals matchup between JDG and KT. Which moment was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. This is OP, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.